What I like about gouache is that the, the tinted water will stain the paper and look like a watercolor painting. I mean, if I was driven towards getting that real watercolory look, I think I could execute that, kind of render everything out where it looks as much like what's in your mind's eye as possible, where you're not necessarily overthinking what the material was that made it. Um, but then artists I've admired like James Bama and Norman Rockwell worked with oils and I like that my stuff on Strathmore paper worked somewhat semi-opaque uh, can kind of have a look similar to the grit that I always saw in the oil paintings by those guys. And I've never ever really fully imitated or followed in the exact way they've done their work and I hold those guys up to a certain high esteem. Like, if I could have my stuff look like anything, it'd be the Rockwell Bama group. But I also like the fact that I can execute this stuff that feels satisfactorily enough to me that it's in enough keeping with that, and I'm doing something they themselves didn't do, which is this amount of content or this amount of subject matter. You know, um, Rockwell did one piece that I've only recently seen that looked like as close to him doing a superhero as possible, and it was a painting of Samson. And it's stunning just to see like, oh geez, if he did that with Samson, put a Superman costume on it, it's like, now you know what his version of Superman would be, and it is incredible. You know, it is seriously a cool looking figure. He had the size and proportions. In fact, I think I even know which of the guys he used as a regular model might have modeled for him for this character. It's awesome. I almost want to go and imitate the specific piece he did of Samson just drawing a Superman costume on and going like, see, Rockwell Superman, man.